Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for love for the second half of November. Uh, if you want to catch me live, you can just uh, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, but let's see what we have going on for you in regards to love for the first, second half, second, second half of the month here. I gotta get that straight, don't I? Alright, there's something going on with my mic too, so we're a mess today, uh, but let's see. Alright, there we go. Alright, so you start off with the uh, Six of Clubs. I feel like what you're hoping for in the fu future is somebody who isn't a burden in your love life, somebody who can kind of pick up the slack and take the extra weight off of you. Yeah, I feel like some of you have been burdened by a breakup as well. Some of you could be thinking about a breakup. You could have recently been going through a breakup as well, uh, or you could be going through one right now. Um, you know, with uh, Venus finally having moved into Libra, uh, you know, that's definitely possible for a lot of you. So some of you could be thinking about that. And again, it could be burdening you with this Six of Clubs. But again, for the most part, I feel like this is you hoping for somebody that isn't a burden. You know, that's not like a lot of work. Somebody who's kind of independent, uh, who can do their own thing in a lot of ways. So, and uh, that also, the other reason I'm saying that is because your next card here is the uh, King of Diamonds. And yeah, look at this, Ace of Clubs as well. I feel like some of you are looking at somebody who's very stable. Uh, this is the card of the soulmate, by the way. So some of you could be having a soulmate. Uh, could be any sign. Um, I don't really attach a sign to the King of Diamonds. It would represent Earth. So, you know, there definitely could be another Earth sign around you uh, in love. Again, I would say Capricorn this year. Uh, again, if it is an earth sign, just looking at the chart. So I, I feel like Capricorns would be, or somebody with a lot of Capricorn in their chart uh, could be good for you Virgos at this time. And uh, But some of you are looking at this person. I feel like this is also, for some of you, I don't think you know who this person is. Uh, again, just looking at the cards here, I feel like you'll meet this person. And again, this is a card of marriage right here. This is a card called the ring. So it can literally represent an engagement ring coming in for you as well. Uh, so again, some of you are with this person. And like I said, it could be any sign. Or, and maybe there's an engagement coming up. Or some of you are looking at somebody or will be looking at somebody uh, who is very stable, who can handle their own stuff, who takes care, you know, who isn't a burden and all this other stuff. Uh, Ace of Clubs is also a card of abundance, so it is a card of dating. It, not not really, but kind of. It is a card of like getting out there and like trying to, um, you know, find somebody as well. But again, I feel like um, this is saying that the attraction will be very instant as well. I feel like you're attracted to this person again. If this is a specific person, if you already have your eye on this person, again, I would say that you are very attracted to them. And again, I feel like they have different qualities. Um, I would, you know, again, it's almost like they could be two different people at times, but it's not like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's more like, you know, when they're working, they're working. They're very serious. But when they're home, I feel like they're very nurturing, caring, king of hearts and the 10 of diamonds. So yeah, very nurturing, caring, very stable as well. Stable is definitely a word that keeps coming up here. So again, I feel like it's somebody who's very even. Um, and I feel like I've said this to you before, Virgo. So again, I might have said that at, in the, uh, you know, for the uh, first half of the month. Uh, and again, I'm kind of feeling that for you as well. Uh, their emotions could be very even as well. Very kind of, um, you know, kind of like one tone in a lot of ways. Uh, it's not that they're not emotional. It's just that they are, um, you know, I feel like this person uh, could be, you know, they could just be very in control of their emotions as well. So I feel like there's a lot of good stuff coming up uh, here for you, Virgo. What I will say is for uh, Ten of Diamonds can say there are secrets. Um, again, you do have the Seven of Spades in your challenge position here. So it could be that you have secrets uh, from this person or, um, again, this person, they could just be more private. And again, getting them to open up could take a little bit of time as well uh, in this situation. Um, I would say this is, you know, again, I feel like somebody very successful, very hardworking coming in for you, Virgos, with these cards here. I'm also getting travel for some reason. So again, some of you might be traveling to see this person. I'm not getting long distance, but I am getting travel. So it might be one of those things where you have to travel to see this person. It could be a short distance or, you know, just like an hour away, something like that. Or uh, there might be moving involved as well. Next, you have the Seven of Spades in your challenge position and the Two of Hearts. So uh, Seven of Spades messages. Um, I would just be careful of your messages at this time. Of course, middle of the month, Mercury retrograde. This card says, like, don't, you know, be careful of text messages. Be careful of taking messages the wrong way as well. Uh, Mercury retrograde, we can send something to somebody or they send it to us. And, you know, it just comes off the wrong way. So I, I would say gain clarity on any messages regarding love, you know, with a person if you're texting somebody. Uh, because, again, this can represent mistakes. 
Two of hearts as well, uh, coming up in the challenge position. It's a really good card, so, you know, it does represent a perfect match. But again, there could be some fears there, um, so that just popped into my head. I do feel like there could be fears with a perfect match. And again, um, so again, you could be having fears about this person, or again, the fact that it's like a perfect match could scare you in some way, or it could scale, scare that other person away as well. I'm not getting commitment as an issue. Like, I don't feel like it's commitment issues, but I do feel like... You know, I do feel like it is kind of like commitment issues. I know that's like a really weird message, but, you know, it's almost like that you are afraid of the commitment or you're not sure if you want to commit at this time as well. I'm also getting for some of you, again, kind of a weird message. I feel like you were with somebody or are with somebody where it's just like the time wasn't right uh, is the message just popping into my head. I don't know. So, um, again, maybe for some of you, it's like, it's like, who knows, maybe if you met like two years from now, the relationship would have turned out in a different way or something like that. But I feel like some of you are dealing with that situation as well. Uh, next, you have the Joker and the uh, Two of Diamonds. So I feel like uh, dating will help those of you that are single and need to get out there. Whenever you have a 10, 10 say get out there, meet as many people as you can. Joker literally says the same thing. Um, I don't really see much uh, reconciliation energy here as well. So again, if you're hoping to get back together with somebody, I, I mean, I don't see it here. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't, but the Joker does say um, if you're starting over with somebody it needs to be like a completely brand new thing like you need to start over completely and you know from ground zero basically um the joker is like the fool so it says you, you need to step off on a totally new path with that person i do feel like that will help a lot of you uh this can also be emotionally opening up as well so i feel like opening up emotionally to somebody could help a lot of you and two of diamonds money a uh, really good card you could be making more money at this time ten of diamonds two of diamonds and again that could be um that could actually improve the situation again if you're getting some money or something like that maybe, maybe it's making things more stable as well and uh, finally you have the six of diamonds and the three of hearts uh, six of diamonds is a card of success and luck it is a card of being too nervous shy or withdrawn um, so again i would say open up with this card and sorry i have like a billion things popping up here all right um so I feel like this card says open up. I do feel like for some of you, seven of spades, you have something to share with somebody that you're close to or you want to be close to. This card just says open up. Don't be shy. Don't be nervous. Don't be withdrawn. That will just hold it back. Six of diamonds is a very good card. It's a very lucky card as well. It says like luck is on your side. So again, if you're hoping to get back together with somebody, I'd say open up uh, with these two cards um, here. Uh, three of hearts is just a good card. It says you're on the right path. Uh, you have two sixes as well. So two sixes are my cards of being on the right path as well. But I think it looks really, really good for you. Again, if you're single, date, get out there as much as you can. Um, you know, again, if you're broken up, I think that somebody new is coming in for the most part. But other than that, it looks really, really good. So thank you for watching and definitely enjoy the rest of November.